We are essential because we have the power to make the laws so that we reach the climate, the climate goals that we need to do. At the same time, we represent different opinions in our communities. So we can also have to work on making the broader agreements within our parliaments. And we also got, need to negotiate the necessary decisions to reach our goals. And of course, when you are in a parliament, you also always communicate with the voters and the people that you represent. So also standing up for climate action is a very important role that we need to take. We need to um, uh, know what uh, governments are doing because all the Nordic countries, for example, have quite a good uh, goals and targets to be the climate neutral. And I think uh, we as a parliamentarians, we have a role also to look at that if they are really doing that what they have promised and they need to report to the parliamentarians that what they have been doing and so we can question that is that enough or should we speed up and I think we should. We need leadership, we need to show responsibility and we also need to show humility when it comes to the challenges that we face and uh, in a place like COP we also get the chance to speak to other parliamentarians from other parts of the world to uh, both discuss what challenges they face but also to find common solutions and learn from others best practices. Uh, I think the personal stories I've heard is what has made most impact on me. As politicians, we probably rationalize and use our heads a lot, but uh, I think we should learn to use our hearts equally much. As a politician, it's always that you should say what you think, do what you say, and nothing is done until it's finally there. <laughs>